back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to summarize how you can do uh, load testing on Salesforce API. Now, there is another video around 25 to 30 minute video, basically, where I have talked in very detail how I have been implement how I have implemented it. So if you're interested in very detailed video, go in there or in this video, I'm going to show you in very short how I have done. So first step is to, of course, log into your Salesforce org, go in admin setup menu API, download the partner visitor, import that partner visitor in your SOAP API. Like in my case, I have imported here. And then what you have to do is you have to right click and you have to say a uh, new test suite. Now I have created a new test suite here and then I have added a lot of steps. So first thing what I have done is I have created a two properties, account name and account number. Account name is I'm going to generate every time random nine digit account number, uh, account name, sorry, and account number is going to be incremented uh, every time. Then what I have done is to generate an account number, account name randomly, I'm using a Groovy script. And on this Groovy script, uh, I'm generating and I'm setting the property. You can see this whole source code, how I'm, I'm generating the property. And then you can see uh, I'm reading an account number. Now, once that is done, I'm using a login uh, request. And then once the login is done, I'm reading a session ID. Now, this is a session ID you can read using a, a step. So if you right click and you say insert step, there is a component named property transfer. So I'm transferring a property from the response of login to the request of create account and you have to use this XPath. Now this is the website I have explained in detail in my other video how you can use this website. But let's assume you know how the XPath works. Next step we have done is uh, we created a request for account and in account we are accessing the property and property can be accessed as you can see dollar uh, curly brace. Uh, account properties this is the name of the step dot the property name account name and account number this is my anchor text field which i normally use uh, to detect what record has been created because of this transaction or this test now this session id is going to be automatically populated by this component and once everything is done what i am doing is i'm incrementing the account number again i'm using a small groovy script here i'm reading a property I'm converting it to integer, incrementing it, and I'm sitting back. So let's assume you have implemented all of this. Now, in order to run this, you can say, uh, let me here. You can double click here. You say, I need to run a five thread. So let's assume five users are using system and trying to insert an account non-stop, let's say for 10 seconds, OK? And if you go back on my Salesforce org, if you see I have a zero record here, if I refresh the grid, let's go ahead and run it. As you can see 18% completed, 50% completed. And this is the transaction per second that is happening. So it's, you can see transaction per second is around 2.3 multiply 2.3 by 5 so total number of account that has been created using load testing in 10 second is around 29 and you can see these are the random account number you can decide what is the format of account number you want and account name and then account number hope you like this video it is pretty short to so show the capacity of swoop ui if you are really interested in detail how i did exactly all steps in detail Go visit on my website, go see another YouTube video on same channel where I'm talking about in detail. And if you have any feedback, comment, feel free to uh, let me know. Thanks for watching this. See you next time.